Sorry. I'm Lee Cam. Let's take the news from behind. In George Orwell's novel 1984, he describes the government arresting and torturing people for thought crimes. Well, the FBI apparently thought that was an instruction manual. <laughs> they released new guidelines that instruct high schools across the country to report students who criticize government policies or Western corruption as potential future terrorists. <laughs> criticize government policies? Isn't that all of us? <laughs> I mean, everybody from Malala to Bernie Sanders to Toby Keith criticizes government policies. All high school students do is criticize. When you're 16, that's your job. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the most popular t-shirt in my high school was everything. <laughs> These new guidelines are basically meant to, I'm surprised we found that photo of me. <laughs> Basically, meant to justify an even larger surveillance apparatus. And we already live in the biggest one ever conceived. I mean, if thoughts are illegal, then, hold on a second. <laughs> I should definitely be arrested for what just happened, okay? Oh my God, that was horrible. <laughs> what I just saw made a Quentin Tarantino shootout look like spin the bottle. <laughs> Look, the government wants this to have a chilling effect on activism, on protest, on questioning authority. Boston had one of the largest student walkouts in recent, recent history this week. Why? In order to criticize the state government for cutting school funding. So I guess thousands of Boston students just declared their allegiance to ISIS. <laughs> Or maybe the FBI, the NSA, CIA, military intelligence have been radicalized and are now preying on our children. If we allow this, we will soon be living in a dystopian paradise. And yes, I know dystopian paradise is an oxymoron, but so is military intelligence. <laughs> we now turn from high school to elementary school. In a recent article, researcher Harris Cooper of uh, Duke University said that there is no evidence that any amount of homework improves the academic performance of elementary students. 